What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Sundown Audio unofficial YouTube channel, where we show you all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes here at Sundown Audio. My name's Derek, and this is going to be another episode of Woofer Test Wednesday. Now, if you follow the channel, you're probably starting to get a little aggravated with me right now because you're realizing this isn't the video you're looking for. Everybody's wanting part two to that Nightshade V4 SBL test, and I'm sorry, guys, but it's going to be a little bit before that video can come out. Part two is going to be a little more uh, detailed than what I've done in previous tests. It's going to be a little more intricate, a lot more things going on. Just trust me, when the part two comes out, it'll totally be worth it. I went ahead and threw the teaser part one out real quick because I made a post on Facebook about it, showed everybody I was testing it. I knew everybody wanted to see it. So I went ahead and gave you all that glimpse, showed you kind of the low power testing, what it could do, the different box that I've, that I've had built. Keep in mind, I built that box a really long time ago. Well, I've got a whole nother box that I'm gonna test with it as well. So we're gonna do kind of a Mythbuster style test to uh, show a few things about it. I'm gonna do the box that I showed in some of the pictures, what was in the part one. And I've got a whole nother box. It's gonna be a musical box, kind of something we recommend for daily use for that thing. So it's gonna be a lot more testing, a lot more work. It isn't done being shot yet. I just haven't had the time to finish all the different parts. But I wanna get it all together at once, put it all in one video for y'all, instead of making it multiple over and over and over. So with that being said, be patient with me guys, it's on the way. Now, if you don't know from the title, and you can see it here in my background, this week, I'm doing a bench test of the X12 version 2. This one is a dual 2. It is one of the ones we do assembled right here in the USA. And um, of course you can see we're also here in our new testing room. Got our new test bench. And I'm uh, going to do this a little bit different than I've done bench tests in the past. Get to that in a second. First, let me go ahead and get this out of here. Get it unboxed. Get it on the bench. Get it hooked up. I'm going to run you through this. All right, guys, let's get this unboxed. Uh, as usual, every Sundown Audio product, you're going to get your decal. And I've showed some of this packing off in the past. This is our custom tooled cardboard packing. It's got a honeycomb design. Custom tooled here, sit perfectly around the surround, the edge of the, the gasket. Throw that out of our way. First rule of shipping bag everything. So every so we'll put me in a plastic bag. In case you haven't seen, there's the bottom of the packaging. Custom tool, more of that honeycomb cardboard in the bottom. Motor sits in there perfect, holds it still. There isn't anything in the sides. These sides right here don't take majority of the hits. We, we've done a lot of testing with this. It's always the corners and these top edges that you get the hits. So these corners here don't need to be filled. I know somebody made, uh, made some comments about that one time. They didn't, they didn't think their subwoofer was packaged properly because there wasn't anything stuffed in the corner of these. These that use that tool packaging don't get the stuffing in the corners. So, yeah, as usual, everything wrapped in a bag. Many instances where somebody has shipped us a subwoofer back and it simply being placed back in a plastic bag would have saved its life. Oh, so let me get this hooked up. Now we are going to be powering this with our SCV 4000. We've got back here on the back of the bench. course with all our new uh, subs with the custom tool sundown frames we've got the big four gauge speaker terminals now I'll be using some sundown audio eight gauge wire running from our SCV 4000 coming around the bench here plugging that in This is a three inch voice coil. It is rated 1500 watts RMS. Similar to our ZB5 series, Nightshade series. This has the, the version two mega roll surround on it. Give you that extra long excursion. All the movement that everybody wants to see. And so I'll show you real up close that Megrol V2 surround. You got the gasket with the custom tool Sundown Audio logo. 
You got the motor boot down here. Again, with the Sundown Audio logo. Show off the back plate, some of those extra cooling vents that are unique to the version 2 X design. And if you can see in there, you got that pre cooked black voice coil. Don't worry, they all come like that. You can see the spider, those heavy duty tinsel leads. All right, so one very unique thing I'm going to be doing today. People in the past have asked me to uh, estimate what kind of power I'm putting in the subwoofers or show what kind of power. So I busted out the Termlab Magnum, got it here, got the laptop set up. I've got the clamp coming straight out of my amplifier. So you can see right here, it's going to read. I've currently got it set up in real time. It's going to show you exactly how much power at any given time we're putting in the subwoofer. So I'm doing the regular test, which is a, a sweep up and down of all different frequencies. That track is called System Checkup by Bass Mechanic. So that's what we playing. So the power isn't going to stay constant. It's going to be up and down with those frequencies, but you'll be able to see that in the video. Keep track of that power. Um, also, if you're just wondering, so it is reading SPL. Right now we're inside this little sealed room. The SPL sensor is just sitting right over here. <clears throat> now, for anyone who doesn't know, this is basically a pressure sensor. So you got that little hole there in the middle where my thumb is, and that's going to set a pressure differential. It's going to read an SPL. So if you do something like blow on the mic, you'll see this score pop up. So anyway, that's just going to be sitting over here in the corner. So if that's reading something, no, that's where it's picking it up at. So um, yeah, that being said, let's turn this thing on. through one more time well, I'm gonna make sure y'all can see the power at this time <clears throat> so pay attention to that power it was uh, it was up there a little bit so here we go we're gonna do one more full sweep subwoofer free air 
Okay, so our, our VA max, so the only thing it saved for me, it was 2,805 watts. So I know several times I've seen 22, 24, right in that 2,500 watt range. It held there pretty good for most of that test. Not bad for a 1,500 watt subwoofer taking those, uh, those full spectrum sweeps just up and down over and over and over. So there you go, showing exactly how much power I'm putting into it. And um, yeah, of course, it's not even warm. This thing's, I don't have my temp gun on me or I'd show you, but 1,500 watts, it'll handle that all day. So you got to see it. Overall, look at the sub, the tensiles, the spiders, the boot, the cooling, mega roll surround, three inch voice coil, 1,500 watt rating, big four gauge terminals. You got to see how much this thing can move. Keep in mind, this is a 12 inch subwoofer. We've got 15s, 18s, even more throw out of those guys. So um, go ahead and wrap this up. Got any questions, let me know in the comments. Anything you want to see done differently on a test like this, feel free to let me know in the comments. Anything you like, don't like, tell me in the comments. Something different you want to see me test on the channel, put it in those comments. That being said, remember, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, Click that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell for notifications. I promise Nightshade V4 SPL testing is going to get finished up. It's coming soon. Be patient. Bear with me. So that's it. Until next time, guys. <laughs>